back to my channel. In today's video, I have my May Boxy Charm for you guys. I love doing Boxy Charm videos every month with you guys. And actually, I have quite a few opinions about these products. Usually, it takes me a while to get an opinion about a product. I've used it a few times, but with these products, I have pretty good opinions. So, let's get into the video. So, the theme this month is Boxy Bash. It's a theme, super cute. I think it's their birthday month, so we did get six products which is always great to have an extra product. So the first thing I'm pulling out is a primer, and this is from Cover FX, and this is a blurring primer. I did use this today. I actually really liked it. It reminds me a lot of my ordinary primer that I'm loving, and it's really smoothing, and it actually has a tint to it, but it's really thick. Like As you can see, it's like super thick on my hand, but once you blend it in, it doesn't really... It doesn't really like make your face like a different color or it doesn't really even out your skin tone or anything like that so I like it so far um, with primers I pretty much have to use them more than once to really know if I like it but so far I do like this so and then we got a brush and this is from Aesthetica and I use this today to dust powder because I usually apply powder with my wet well my damp beauty blender so I used this just to dust it away and it was actually super flimsy like it really wouldn't get the powder like off of my face so I'm not sure if I like it for that I might just try to apply powder with it instead of using my beauty blender so that might be another way to use it but I mean it's super like f flimsy it's I wish it was a little bit more dense but overall it's a pretty nice brush. We got more brushes we have a brush set of three it seems like we always get like brush sets with three brushes inside so this is a like an eye brush set so it comes with a spoolie I did not use this yet I should have used it today instead of using the spoolie on my eyebrow pencil but I didn't even think about it and then we got an angled brush it's actually a thick angled brush I was gonna use this today for my eyeliner but it was a little bit too thick and then the brush I ended up using for my eyeliner was the like the pointed brush and I don't really know. I'm the biggest fan of this brush because it seems like it's uneven so it's really hard to get like a really precise line like it doesn't really taper up to a point. It's, the bristles are kind of all over the place. I did use it today for eyeliner and it did work. I mean I struggled a little bit but overall it was okay and I will probably use it again. So that was the brush set. Definitely not my favorite thing in the bag. It's kind of boring the brushes we received but you know. We did get an eyeliner that I used with the brush, and this is a pretty vulgar ink eyeliner. And a lot of people were raving about the packaging of this. And I don't like the packaging. I think you have to dip your brush in there so far to get product. Like, it's really hard to see, too, especially since this is all black. And the eyeliner is black so it's hard to see what you're getting and what you're grabbing that would really be my only complaint as far as the eyeliner it's so black and it's so pigmented and it stays on so well so the formula itself is really nice but I don't like the packaging I know a lot of people like the packaging but I'm not a huge fan of it so got a palette this month which is always nice to get a palette it's not an eye palette but it's a cheek palette cheek and highlighter palette but I don't like this palette because mine doesn't seem to stay closed. Well, of course it's staying closed now, but it like it always stays open like that. So I have to keep this little thing on it, but you know, that's not really a big deal. But this is the palette and this is the Pure Sculptor palette. So we have two like bronzer shades and two highlighter shades. And I, I like the color selection of this palette a lot. I think it's really nice for any skin tone because even if lighter complexions can't use this shade we can definitely can use that shade but if a deeper skin tone can't use this shade they definitely could use that shade and same with the highlights it's like the same way so I really love that this palette pretty much caters to everybody so I thought that was really nice because sometimes BoxyCharm does include stuff that you know just can go for lighter skin tone so I thought that was a really nice touch these are super pigmented and I swatched these yesterday and the swatches did not leave my arm even after a shower so you know the staying power of these are really great I just didn't like how these applied I use these for my eyeshadow they were a little bit patchy kind of chalky but when I put them on the face they didn't really blend well I put my brush in the product and the, the product just kind of stayed in one spot but it did blend nice so 
it kind of dispersed like all over my face but it did blend out well it's definitely not my favorite bronzer and contour palette I've used I used both I used all three of these shades today I used this as my bronzer a little bit for this for contour and then this for highlight and on my lid and I used both of these in my eyes so uh definitely not my favorite palette uh I I will obviously continue to use it but I don't I don't know it's just not my favorite I just didn't really like how they applied so that is that and the last thing in our box we received a matte lip gloss and this is from beauty curations and this is from this is a collab with boxycharm and I got the shade kiss me and I am wearing this today I really like the color the formula again is not my favorite it's super heavy it's definitely dry and it feels like there's something on your lips before it completely dries down it's very sticky um, the packaging is really cute but I don't know it's just you can just tell it's a really it's a cheaper liquid lipstick so I'll still probably get use out of it but it's not my favorite formula even on my lips right now it feels super heavy so that was everything we received in May BoxyCharm it definitely wasn't my favorite month I feel like there was a lot of fails this month but I am going to go over prices with you guys and everything because I forgot to do that when I was talking so the Pure Sculptor palette retails for $30 which I would never pay $30 for that the cover FX blurring primer is $38 which I do think is pretty accurate because this is a lot of products so the pretty vulgar eyeliner retails for $24 which I do think is a good price because you get so much product in there the three-piece brush trio is $45 making this the most expensive thing in the box which I just think is a complete joke honestly I w who would pay $45 for those brushes and then the P12 face brush is $27 again ne would never pay that for this even if I felt this in the store I wouldn't pay that it just feels like I would pay $10 for that probably and then the beauty creation liquid lipstick is $10 which is pretty accurate because I know they sell this brand at like Gabe's and stuff so that's pretty accurate and they sell this brand on hush.com so Hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope it didn't come across as negative, but, you know, I like to give my opinions on products. So, please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.